talking to somebody recently, back and forth, and um, I, you know, you guys know that I have avoided the twin flame um, discussion because the twin flame discussion has been really, really, from my perspective, uh, has really been jacked with here. Um, twin flames in and of itself, the concept of twin flames, is quite normal outside of this game. It happens all the time. Entities do it all the time. Uh, but here it has been quite a different story. Uh, in the other games out and about, a twin flame is kind of a... Um, how do I explain this? It's kind of a... It's kind of like you deciding to create another you that is a perfect playmate. And in the other games, this is quite fun. Um, it's not something that everybody does or is interested in, but there are entities that are very fond of this um, way of experiencing life. Now, outside in other games, they can split into two, they can merge back together, and they kind of run around and have fun together in these other games, between games, and it is a... a they it issue um yeah so it it is a, a a kind of a cloning of or a doubling of an entity uh kind of making a, another one of you uh next to you like i said so you have that like somebody that is just like you to go play with it's great fun it's great fun seeing it happen all the time now what happened is down here when the twin flame events happen. Somebody said, well, let's go see what it's like down there. What, what happens if you do the twin flame thing down in duality? Well, what happens is not fun, <laughs> which is why I've tried to avoid it. Because when you're dealing with duality, when that twin flame split happens, number one, you've got one, you've got two human bodies. All right. And because it's duality, everything is split in half into that duality. So when that twin flame split happens, there are two human bodies, and their half of who that entity is is in one human body, and the other half is in the other human body. Now, one would think that then they cannot be whole, they not cannot be complete until they find each other, which, okay, that's good. So you've got two people that are expected to find each other in all of the planet Earth, in all of the dimensions, in all of the timelines. You see the problem here? So, and then, even then, when they find each other, they're completely different from each other. Yes, they have what the other one needs, but because in this dualistic human time illusionary thing is... What happens is when those two twin flames, let's say when they do find each other, the rare instances that they do, the other person is mirroring what they lack. They cannot merge with each other and fix it. They can't. For each other, they have to become what that other person is showing them to do. Okay, well, you go out in the world, and anybody that you struggle with now, you should realize that they're mirroring things that you need to work on yourself. Okay, so a twin flame is everything that you need to work on in your, with yourself. <laughs> in front of you all the time. This is not a great romantical love story. This is the hardest work you can imagine. If you find that twin flame, number one, you're going to feel, let's say you have created the twin flame. Okay. Now, I have said that there are not twin flames on this planet right now, and there are not. There are not. But I have not said that there are twin flame. So, are there halves of twin flames on this planet right now? Yes. Not very many, but yes. But there are no twin flame couples on this planet right now. Okay, so when a twin, what happened is the twin flames would, would split, they'd, they'd come down and they'd do their, their twin flame split. And if they found each other, they would be absolutely, it was impossible for them to not be with each other because they're too, too familiar, because they are a part of themselves. 
However, they couldn't leave each other because there's too, they're too familiar. But by being together, they mirrored to each other what they had to fix in, in total all the time. Can you imagine? So needless to say, when the twin flame experience came down, it was not done very often. And it was only done by, wow, the extreme, extreme people. Because the, just the simple trying to get your twin flame split done and then come down on planet Earth in the right dimension and then try to keep, remember I said each individual human is jumping timelines a million to a million times a second. So you had to match all of that up between two entities that are split and have opposite sides of that one complete entity. So whatever the strengths are on this human person part of the entity, the strengths were the other end, so on the other person. So what they were drawn to collective consciousness-wise, timeline-wise, were completely different. So if they found each other, if they were somehow able to make it so that they found each other on the planet, at the right time space, on the right dimensional level, then they would, you know, really fight to stay with each other. However, their time jumps vibrationally would be so different that it was very difficult for them to stay together. This was an incredibly difficult um, game to play here extremely as if it wasn't tough enough here the the twin flame scenario for the entities that came to play that experience oh uh, that was like next 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 level of crazy difficult uh situation so how that twin flame game which is very very common outside of this game got translated into the dualistic creation of this game and time space into something similar to a soulmate is totally beyond me. I, I don't know how that happened. I don't know how people um, translated into that. It was just not worth it for me to argue with people about it. Um, ultimately, that's the way the twin flame works. And the twin flame scenario on in this game is extremely difficult and far from being what you want to have. Far from being what you want to have. And it never, ever runs smoothly. It's a very challenging, challenging way to play this game. Intense. You guys can look at it when you die or when you go into a meditative state. Ask for a true twin flame uh, earth existence to be shown to you. You'll see. Um, hats off. It is added to the whole tremendously, but it is not what humans think it is at all. Um, anybody who, and, and I probably even wouldn't be talking about this if I hadn't actually talked to one um, who who is a twin flame. And I went, well, you know, if I talk to one, then it's worth me doing a video to reach out to the ones that who might hear this video so that it might bring relief that they hear all of this stuff about twin flame and they instinctually know that they are, but this has been a very big struggle that maybe this will make them feel better. Um, it will probably set off all kinds of anger for people who are believing that the twin flame is more a soulmate type situation. And I'm not going to argue with that. Go ahead and think what you want. I'm talking to the twin flames who are outside of this creation. Uh, know what I'm talking about. Whenever I talk about the twin flame and that's that, kind of a doubling of when it came down here, it became a split because of the dualistic nature of the game. So you guys will know who I'm talking about, and hopefully this video will help ease your mind that, um, yeah, that's how it played out, and you're not going crazy at all. Now, when it comes to soulmates, on the other side, your best friend, because on the other side, outside of this game, you, we don't have male and female. You guys do know that, right? That male and female is a part of the dualistic split that's a part of this game. We don't do that on the other side. I mean, you can look however you want, but there isn't male-female. That's a split in dualism in this game. 
So we're going to talk about best friends. So on the other side, most of the time, by far, most, not all, because nothing is all, but most of the time, your best friend, when you came down here, is is your main leader, head anchor of your pub friends. Because that's what a best, best friend would do. A best friend would not, what your best friend would want to make sure that they were there to, if you were going to go into some really dangerous situation, your best friend would make sure that they had uh, the rope to safety and they were in charge of making sure that you were safe. That's what your best friend does. Your best friend does not jump into the fray with you, you know. <laughs> your, your best friend wouldn't do that. So most of the time your best friend is not down here for you to have sex with. That's not the primary goal at all. Now, you do have groups of friends that you're pretty close to, and one of them might be down here, which you would absolutely feel closer to, which you might feel like they're a soulmate to you. But as I've said before, ultimately, we're all one, and so you can be a soulmate with anyone, male, female, I, you know, either one. You can, be a, you can have soulmate status with anyone, anyone. All you've got to do is it in your mind, oh, wait a minute, we're all one. Um, finding a soulmate, not that difficult. Click, click, click. Oh, I like, I like that one. All right, meditate. I want to go to a timeline where there is an attraction and we are absolutely soulmate status, as in what people believe soulmates are. I want to go to a timeline where that's us. Okay? And if it's a part or can be involved in that higher plan that you have, then that's what you'll do. Why you would do that, I don't know. Um, the only reason I would think that you would do that is if you like really like the way they looked or something. Because yeah, I don't, I don't really get that. I don't understand um, the soulmate thing anyway, because it's to me it translates that you can't be your best self without having that other person. And that is absolutely contrary to everything I believe. So do I think that if you ran into one of your closer friends on the other side, you might have a quicker, um, better relationship if you did that? Well, maybe. <clears throat> maybe. But as long as you are <clears throat> thinking that, a soulmate is is going to make your life better or a soulmate is necessary i think that you will be led to timelines where that that's the truth because you're a creator god um and i think that that is not going to get you to 5d because 5d you don't need anything but yourself you're creator god and you can create perfection you can have that kind of relationship with anyone truly anyone and as long as you believe that there is a certain one, then I think that cuts you off from all the other beings and that keeps you away from that knowingness that number one, you don't need any other being. And number two, if you want a really, really intense, close relationship with any other human, you can have that. Uh, you can totally have that because we're all one. Okay? So that's the reason really why I stay away from the twin flame thing because I do know uh, twin flame entities, the ones that, that play that game um, out in the other games, and uh, <clears throat> I know them, so I know how that is done. I also know how it was done when it came here and how it played out because of the illusion of time-space and because of dual duality, and I really, you know, I don't want to get into an argument with people about this. And I am just told you why I really don't, uh, don't lean towards the soulmate thing either. So, um, yeah, I think it just, it just soulmate, twin flame, to me, those are words that have need. The vibration of need underlying them a lot. And the vibration of need is not a higher vibration at all. Need is right along there, and if you need something, if you don't have it, you're going to go into fear, and if you do, still don't have it, you're going to go into depression. So I, I stay away from the vibration of need, and uh, yeah, so I don't do 
don't talk about those things, and I certainly don't think about them uh, from that perspective. Certainly, I'm not going to argue with anybody who who believes they have a twin flame or a soulmate. Um, hey, like I've said, your game is your game. But for me, those are the reasons why I do not perceive them as things that I'm interested in or that I'm going to be p playing a part of because I am heading back to oneness. I am heading back to um, the all that is. Um, in a lifetime through 5D, when I die, I'll just be going back. All right. Okay, let's end that one right now. And uh, yeah, huge hugs. And I'll talk to y'all later. Love you bunches. Bye.